Bank of England, aimed at tackling the global credit crunch. Dialogue between the Governor Mervyn King and the banking industry is set to continue amid wavering confidence in the money markets. Sky's business correspondent Joel Hills reports. They came for an audience with the Governor, the bosses of the UK's major banks. Their message, you need to do more to help us out. In a meeting behind closed doors, the banks urged Mervyn King to lend them more money and over a longer period. They also wanted him to reassure savers that in the event that any bank did develop Northern Rock-style cash problems, that he would come riding to the rescue. I think it's an incredibly fragile mood. That's certainly what we can say. It's tenuous at best. You know, we look towards the states for movements there. We look towards our own market. And at the very best, people are nervous. They don't quite know whether it's time to step into this market and actually participate. So fragile. That's really how I would sum it up. This is all about restoring confidence. Just look at what's happened to the share price of Halifax Bank of Scotland since the credit crisis began last summer. There's no evidence that the UK's largest mortgage lender is in trouble, but investors have been selling up. No one wants to be caught holding shares in another Northern Rock. And I think what we're seeing here in terms of, of the banks is really that we're seeing people in organisations not trusting each other because people don't know where they stand and there is this lack of predictability and consistency. Banks need to borrow money from the Bank of England because they're reluctant to lend money to each other. They're sitting on their cash partly because they fear that they might need it at some point in the future and partly because they fear if they do lend it out they might not get it back. Credit Suisse today issued a profits warning. It's the latest bank to take a subprime hit. Credit Suisse also revealed it had a problem with rogue traders and some feel the banks are paying the penalty now for years of excessive lending. Obviously when you are a bank that lends money, not every time that you lend money will it uh, turn out to be uh, the right decision because circumstances do change. But certainly our banks do not have that uh, subprime type of lending that has happened in the States and indeed the whole of the mortgage lending in the UK is much tighter regulated. Mervyn King's job is to maintain financial stability, but he also feels it's right that banks that have been reckless should feel pain. Ahead of this meeting, the Bank of England made £11 billion of emergency funds available, but the governor's unlikely to be writing blank cheques anytime soon. John Hills, Sky News. Scotland Yard says it would be inappropriate to launch a police investigation into the con.